been talking about it all week and now it's finally here. That's right. We're talking about Rhythm and Blooms, of course. San Diego Festival of Rocking Knoxville's Old City. Seven different stages all set up for dozens of different artists. Knoxville Mayor Madeline Rojero getting everything started this afternoon, officially proclaiming this weekend as Rhythm and Blooms Weekend. And it's not over yet. The festival lasting late into the night tonight, then running through Sunday. Six on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel stopping in at the festival, taking in the sights and sounds and hearing from some of the concert goers. For so many, this is what it's all about. The music's great. It's a great vibe. Everybody seems to have a really good time. The music. Especially once, you know, you, we start to weed like the kids out and then the music gets loud and everybody's having a good time. The Black Lilies, of course, because that's who we came to see. Rhythm and Blooms kicking off the yearly festival Friday night, drawing big crowds to Knoxville's Old City. We got a sold out crowd tonight. It's getting close to a sold out crowd tomorrow and we're just thrilled for it. The festival marking a milestone, its 10th year. Some taking it all in for the first time, even traveling from out of state. This is much bigger than we thought it was going to be and met people from all over already. While others are no strangers to the fun. So I've been uh, two years in a row. We're repeat guests. We got the we get the three day pass each year. And if you're watching this and feeling like you're missing out, don't worry, it's not over yet. But project managers encourage you to snag some tickets as soon as you can. I would definitely encourage everyone to buy their tickets online if they'd like to come tomorrow. Uh, I think there will be tickets available at the box office down here in the old city. Um, but it's always best to buy online, buy early, and that way you know you got a ticket when you show up. Reporting in Knoxville, Elizabeth Kubel, WATE, six on your side. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so much. And again, everyone, as you heard, you're not out of luck because Rhythm and Blooms last all weekend long. Some of the artists set to take the stage, well, the Cripple Creek stage tomorrow include Peak Physique, Cutthroat Shamrock, Langhorn Slim, and Raylan Baxter. And if you want to go tomorrow or Sunday, there are still day passes available. Prices have now gone up, though, from $30 to $35. And if the parking spot you find is a little too far away from the festival, you don't feel like walking, remember, you can always use a cat trolley. They will be running every 10 minutes. There are two stops at Central and Jackson, and the festival is partnering with Lyft also to offer a 10% discount on two rides. Just use the promo code R and B knocks. All of that, by the way, is one word. And in case you're curious and you need to go back and look at everything, we've got all our Rhythm and Blooms coverage for you, including a full lineup on our website, WATE.com. Just look under the As Seen On section. 